Good morning, polar bears. What's up, y'all? It's Friday, January 8th, 2021. It's New Year. Hope you're all excited for it. Or, I don't know, maybe not. 2020 is wild. We're hoping, fingers crossed, 2021 is uh, better. Not off to a great start yet. Well, either way, it's Friday. So, you know, maybe do a little dance for that Friday feeling. Uh, I'm your host, Mr. B, and we're actually... You know, we're starting a new class this spring. That class is engineering design. So first off, give yourself a round of applause, maybe a couple of snaps. Uh, and welcome to engineering design. Shout out to you for choosing this class. First off, for those of you that don't know me, let me hide myself real quick. Um, just a little bit about myself. First off, my name is Mr. Bermudez. I go by Mr. B, y'all. If you need anything, please give me, give me a shout out. Um, I was born in South Texas, actually on the very tip of Texas. Yeah, the very Southern tip of Texas. I graduated from the University of Texas at Austin, did a little bit of engineering and then became a teacher here at Austin Achieve. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I enjoy playing sports. I like staying active, I like running, I like lifting, I like playing games, board games and video games alike. I've been playing a lot of Hades for those of you that might know that I would recognize that game. Play a lot of FIFA too. Yes, I probably can beat you at FIFA. Maybe. I'm also an Everton and San Antonio Spurs fan. Yeah, you'll see the San Antonio Spurs. Everton's a soccer team in Liverpool. No, it's not Liverpool, but they're another team in that city. And uh, I have two dog, two dog, I have my two dog family. Uh, me and my wife are also expecting a little human on the way. So we're expecting a little girl this summer, which we're really excited for. Here you can see my dog Evie and my dog Ellie, which they're freaking awesome. I love them. Okay, enough about me. We're going to go ahead and jump into what to expect in engineering design. First off, we're going to be using the engineering design process. We're going to be using that so much, y'all. I hope uh, you'll be able to apply it in other classes. We're going to be using it a lot, but more on that later. First off, uh, secondly, actually, we'll use our logic to solve some puzzles. You'll notice that we'll be doing that a lot. We'll be doing that later on today as well. We're going to be drawing up some plans. You can already see some of the plans here, something like that. It's not going to be super complicated looking. Uh, we're going to do our best to keep it simple and just to kind of help our process out. Lastly, we'll create products. And what are products? They're actually things. We're going to be creating things to solve problems and to achieve a goal. These things could be a boat. It can be a paper airplane. It can be a tower. We're going to be creating things to, in essence, compete against each other. So first off, what is the engineer design process? You may already know what that is. Uh, you can see on the left, we have five steps, which we'll go into, uh, we'll go more in depth in just a bit. But overall, the engineering design process, it's steps, steps that engineers use, steps that students will use, steps that scientists may use. Um, and all it is, you're trying to solve a problem. You're trying to find a solution to a problem, to a challenge, whatever it might be. And as we kind of talked about before, or what I just mentioned, is usually it involves creating something, creating or designing a product, right? That's that thing. That product can be a machine, it can be a tool, and it's gonna help you or help us accomplish a certain task. So our first step, the very first thing we do, and again, we're gonna be using this process a lot this year, uh, but the first thing we'll do is we're gonna be in the ask step. What we do there, we try to find out, well, what is our challenge? What is the problem that we're trying to solve? We want to know, let's say it's, we have to make a paper airplane. Okay, we want to know, well, who can make the, the paper airplane that flies the furthest? So it says here, define constraints. So I want to know, well, what paper can I use? How much time do I have to build this paper airplane, right? Um, can I ask a friend for help or do I have to do it on my own? 
those are constraints. Those are some rules that I may set on you that the problem itself might set on you. Our next step is the imagine step. And all that is y'all, you brainstorm. You come up with as many ideas that you have. Maybe you build your paper airplane out of the lightest paper you might find. Maybe you build it out of two pieces of paper. Who knows? You brainstorm, you put them all down on paper. You write all those ideas down and then you choose a solution that you want to go through with. Our third step is the plan step. In that step, we design it, we draw it. We want to draw a picture of what our paper it might be, um, whatever our product or thing that we build is going to be. And maybe, maybe we might need some other materials. So we'll write that down. That way we'll make sure we don't forget about it. So once you have that drawing down, once you have that plan out, guess what? You're going to put it all together. You're going to create it. This is when you build. Um, if you ever use Legos, this is when you kind of start building your model. You start building your a paper airplane. I'm still going to continue to use that, um, that example. And once you're done building it, right, you'll test it. You'll see, we'll imagine if it just flies a couple feet, falls flat. Well, then you can go back and improve it. That's our last step, right? We go back and we're like, well, what can I do to help this? What can I do to make my airplane fly further? So again, we're going to be using these steps a lot. It's okay. Um, we'll, we'll get more comfortable with these five steps. I do want to, sorry, I'm going to go back real quick, but I do want to point out that with our challenges, because of our limited amount of time, we're going to be breaking these steps up as we go through our different challenges, through our different things that we build throughout the semester. So be patient, okay, please be patient. What are the benefits of the engineering design process? First off, you can create and design a plan. You, know, you start drawing things out. You start, um, you start just picturing what you're gonna build, how you're gonna solve the problem. You start thinking about it ahead of time instead of just jumping in. I know it's super easy, super um, fun to just jump in and try to solve something, try to um, whatever it might be, right? You just, we're basically trying to build like, hey, slow down, take a step, listen, think about it. It helps us in the end. Also a trial and error process. We, we run through a test, we might try to see, um, how far does our paper plane, paper airplane fly? And we go back and we learn from our mistakes. Maybe you added too much paper to it. Maybe you didn't fold the wings right. You know, you try to go back and improve it. Y'all, mistakes, I feel like a lot of us get bummed out by them. It's just a chance to make us better. So please have that open mindset in this class. We're doing some self-learning. The best learning you do is on your own. It doesn't just stop with school. You learn outside of school. You learn once you're done and graduated from school. Promotes research. I know some of y'all know how to do research. You're like, well, how old is uh, Ariana Grande? Who's she dating right now? Uh, Billie Eilish. Who's your next? When is your next album coming out? Y'all know how to use Google to research. We're going to be doing our own research. And it also promotes reflection. Yeah. Yes. So now to practice some logic skills. So take a second, get ready. We're gonna be turning on those brains. Our first puzzle is spot the difference. So there we go. There's two photos here. We're gonna find the six differences between the two photos. So you can go ahead, actually, look, I'm gonna help you out. It's your first time doing this. You might already be seeing some of the differences between the two photos. I'm going to help you out with two of them. The first two. So in your form, you can write the sword, because guess what? It's chipped. So you could put, well, sword is one of the differences. The second difference is belly button. Okay, so you just type that out. You have to find the other four differences. What else is different between the photos? You can go ahead and pause it here, go to that question, answer it, and you can come back to the video. You can pause it now. Okay, 
the next one, we're gonna solve two riddles. Let's see, the first riddle. Billy's mother had five children. The first was named Layla. The second was named Lily. The third was named Lily. The fourth was named Lolo. What was the fifth child named? Go ahead and type. There's a question in our form. You can write your answer there. What do you think? Who is the fifth child? Uh, what's the name of the fifth child? Some of y'all may be like, this should be, this is super easy. Some of y'all might be struggling. Go ahead and pause right now. Go to that question in the form and answer it. Okay, last riddle here. Choose the correct sentence. Which one is correct? The yolk of the egg is white or the yolk of the egg are white. If you ever crack an egg open, there's a yolk in there. Which one's correct? Is it the yolk of the egg is white or the yolk of the egg are white? Go ahead and write your answer in your form. You can pause the video here. Okay, again, these riddles are just to kind of help us get into that mindset. We're trying to solve problems. We're trying to think outside the box a bit. I'm gonna share out these answers next week. Okay, so pay attention to these. I'll give you the answers next week. Okay, real quick, y'all, before we go, um, in two weeks, I'm giving you a heads up because we are, sorry, here we go. I'm giving you a heads up because we are gonna be using uh, these materials for our challenge, our first challenge of the year. In two weeks, not next week, but in two weeks, we will need foil paper and a ruler for our class. So if you're at home, just give your parents a heads up. Maybe you already have some foil paper at home. You're gonna be using it for class. So just tell your parents, hey, make sure we have a little bit of it, just, a, just some of it. You might need more than a little. Uh, I'll give you more detail next week. Also, just make sure you have a ruler um, around. Again, if you're in uh, back in your home, in distance learning, if you're at school, uh, if you can bring some foil paper in two weeks, I'll give you a heads up next week as well. Uh, so you can use for your challenge, please bring it in two weeks. Again, not next week, not next week, but just start thinking about it. So again, foil paper and a ruler. All right, y'all, that's it for today. I'm excited for what's to come for engineering design. Please, um, y'all are going to be great engineers. All right, y'all, if you have any questions, email me, um, and I will see y'all later. Have a great weekend, y'all. Peace.